Hey, Matt Skinner here for the Dealmaker Society. Lease options are a simple way to create value in a deal that's looking pretty hopeless. Lease options are another powerful, powerful tool that can allow you to buy more properties and make more deals with very little or no money down. You can use a lease option to buy any kind of property. In fact, I've successfully used this strategy to acquire over 260 apartment units. I've also used lease options to buy and sell dozens of single family houses. I'm now going to show you how I bought an option for a house for $1,000 and I sold it just a few days later for $40,000. A lease option is actually two documents. One's a long-term lease and the other is an exclusive option to buy a property for a predetermined price at a predetermined date in the future. But the best way to explain a lease option is to use a real life example. Recently, I made $40,000 selling an option. I earned $100 per month cash flow, and I made another $25,000 when I sold the property. In total, I made over $68,000 on a $1,000 investment, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. Seller Sally is having trouble renting her investment property for a positive cash flow. The house is worth about $360,000, and her mortgage amount is $360,000 also, so there's clearly no equity in this house. She needs $2,500 a month to cover her payments, which is about what the house would rent for. And if Sally used a realtor to sell it, she would pay full retail commissions and closing costs. She would lose money just to sell her house. So even if Sally just gave me her house for free, to anybody else this would appear to be a break-even deal. But I'm the deal maker. Now seller Sally really wanted me to buy her house as a short sale. Why? because Sally wanted to dump that house that was eating her alive with negative cash flow and had zero equity. I told her I could and that I would make an all cash offer to her bank, but I had a better idea that I knew that she was really gonna like. First, I offered to take the house subject to, but she wasn't comfortable giving me the deed. I think her ego prevented her from just walking away. We were at a stalemate. I broke the stalemate by utilizing the lease option I said, Sally, what if I rented the house from you? I'll take care of all the bills, the maintenance, and every last little thing that goes along with owning the house. But you'll still own it until a certain date and time until I buy the house. Would that work for you? She loved the idea, and that's exactly what we did. I signed a lease with her for $2,500 a month, covering her principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. And I also agreed to take care of any and all maintenance and repairs. And then she signed over my option to buy the house. I gave Sally $1,000 consideration for the option, and we agreed that the purchase price would be exactly the loan amount. Immediately after I recorded the option, I started advertising the house, and my phone rang off the hook. And then, Bob called. Bob had a tremendous income, but he had poor credit and wasn't able to obtain his own loan. So I offered to rent the house to Bob, and I gave him the option to buy it after he cleaned up his credit. I told Bob the house was worth $370,000 right now, but in three years, which was the time I gave him to clean up his credit, that the house would be worth four hundred five, dollars and he agreed. His rent would be $2,600 per month, and I required him to make a 10% down payment toward the purchase of the house. He loved the deal, and he promptly came up with $40,000 to put down. Now remember, I bought the option from Sally for $1,000, and I sold it to Bob for $40,000. Over the three years that Bob cleaned up his credit, and with every payment he made, the principal balance on the loan was reduced. So each payment that Bob made created more and more equity for me. On top of that, over the three years, Bob cleaned up his credit, his house increased in value, and he made equity on his own house. So in this deal, Sally avoided a stain on her credit report and was able to drop the hassles of a home that she didn't want. Bob was able to clean up his credit, buy a house, and build equity. I put $40,000 in my pocket, I made $100 a month in cash flow, and I cast a $25,000 check at the end, all on a $1,000 investment. Lease options are a great way to get into a property with little or no money down. They're also a great way to sell a property and create a tremendous amount of value by offering terms to your buyer. Look for the lease option strategy to come up a lot in our DealMaker live stream events. And remember to reference the toolbox to get the most out of each lesson. Make deals, get paid.